Hello guys, welcome, you are watching Headset VR, welcome to the channel, welcome to another VR related video. Today we are looking at showing you how to get set up with Subnautica Below Zero and to be able to play it in VR with most controls. Now you might have seen the recent video for the original Subnautica, how to play with most controllers, which you can see right here we're going to do exactly the same thing but like i say for below zero and we'll show you how to get playing in the game now first of all you'll need to join the discord channel for flat screen to vr and i will put a link for that in the description for this video and then you join the subnautica vr channel and look for Subnautica Announcements, or SN-Announcements, as you can see here. From there, to scroll up a short way from the bottom, you will see the Below Zero VR mod. 2.0.2.zip. And you download that, and then what you do is you go into it, and into your game directory as well, open that up, and drag into it the QMods file. So basically what you need to do is install QMods, then load up the game, and make sure when the game is started up, you have a mods menu in the options. As we can see, and you go into options, and as you can see, we have mods enabled just here. But we aren't going to worry about that because once you've loaded the game up once, now from there you need to install the base mod into the game. So you then grab the rest of these files and you then copy those into here, into your game directory. Now what I have done, although it's not necessarily really necessary, is I've created a shortcut. As you can see here, I've made a copy of the application.exe here and created a shortcut that's called Subnautica 0-VRMod space oculus and done a, the same thing instead this one says steam you don't need to do that although i have done that but what you do from there now depending on whether you're going to be using oculus or whether you're going to be using steam depends where you go from here now although i'm using this on the epic game store so yes it does work on the epic game store and i do have an oculus quest 2 headset I'm actually doing this through Steam. So you might need to play about with this because it took me a little bit of playing about. So you double click on the steamvr.bat and what that will do then is create this file here, the VR mode. Then what you do there is once you've installed that, make sure that VR loads. So boot the game up check that VR loads and then from there if you switch the game off again what you do here then is you can get the oh let me just find it you can get the subnautica motion controls mod from here download that and then what you do is you go into QMods and you'll have VR tweaks now you don't need to download the VR enhancements mod that you could with the original Subnautica because VR tweaks will cover that but then basically what you do you drop the Subnautica Motion Controls fire file into here. And then from there, what I've been doing to start the game 
is I start it with Steam VR. I mean, I know it's on Epic Game Store. I start Steam VR and then click the Below Zero application for the XE on desktop. So. It starts the game in VR and we have got motion controls. I'm using the sticks here, left stick, moving up and down, and then the A button to choose options. You should then have the VR options here. Now I would advise having a little bit of a look through the settings before you do anything. You can find some of these scales well, the PDI distance or the render scale values might need amending. Uh, if you go into controller, make sure controller is enabled as well. Obviously, you can see the VR controls. They're pretty much exactly the same as the original Subnautica. And of course, then, in VR options, Again, have a little bit of a look through the options. Now, if you want snap turning, snap turning is available. Personally, I don't bother because I play quite a lot of VR, so I don't really need to worry about comfort options. But the option is there if you do wish for it. Okay, and then from there to get out of the settings, as you can see in the corner, press B for back, B for back, and then you can play. And this will take you to Frozen world of 400 and whatever it was. Ooh, don't make this ball in my hands. Now there is a new motion controls mod that I showed to you just now. That is a new version. When I've downloaded that recent file into the original Subnautica, it actually allowed me to move my hands. Now I'm yet to test it properly on here. So if you have difficulty and the game doesn't start, try an earlier version of the motion controls. Because I've just tested the version I showed you just there and I couldn't get the game to start properly in VR. So like I say, keep an eye out for that. But what I will do is, no I don't think I can actually link both in, in the description, but like I say, take that into account when you do try and um, get the game running. But as you can see, I'm using the, well, I don't know how you can see, but I'm using the right stick here now for moving. Well, turning my head, left stick, like here, that way, Y button, jumps, what does X do? X does absolutely fuck all, in a pull on the stick. Um, B button also doesn't do anything at the moment, but A, I can, for example, grab some titanium. Now, the Oculus button will pause the game and give the option to quit. Not through the proper way, like you can if you press escape, like this. Okay. But if you press the other button on your left controller, you get the PDA. And from there, you can use right grip to switch through the options. And you can look at those fantastic screenshots like I've taken in game here. Now, the new motion controls mod made it so this wasn't probably functioning. So, if I wanted to put something onto the bar, as you can see, the little hood underneath. So, let's pick, say, this bit of quartz. Oh, I can't do anything from it. Okay, so the survival knife. No, I've already got the survival knife. Um, we've got a beacon on there. I'm trying to find something I haven't got on my bar already. 
So the cylindrical flask, let's press the Y button to assign it and you can see it gives me option where I would like to put it. But I'll just press B and get out of that. So, now like I say, you can change how this looks, how close it is to you. You can kind of have your face in like that, which isn't cool. You can make it bigger. You can make this icon where it says creep von C cluster. You can make that larger, which is a bit intrusive in my opinion. But hey, it is what it is. It's a VR mod. It's a very good VR mod. I've absolutely enjoyed playing this game. And you can see a little bit more of this this week. I'm going to have a little bit more of a fool around with it. And we're going to see what happens and see what will eat me and what doesn't eat me. So, I hope this mod's been helpful. If for any reason you're stuck, you can ask for help in the Subnautica Discord, well the flat screen to VR mod Discord in the Subnautica channels. There's a very good uh, developer there who I've conversed with quite a few times who's actually had a lot of input, well he's actually done most of the mod, but he has focused primarily on Subnautica, but he is looking at below zero as well. That's I hate TN931. I believe his name is. You'll know him. Well, you'll you'll know who he is if you see my name. His name is highlighted in like a bluish colour. But that's the, the developer. Shout out in there if you need help or anything on that. I'm in there quite frequently as well, posting guides or gameplay videos, so people get an idea of what's going on. So otherwise, if you don't get any help there, I mean you can ask me, make comments in this video, and I'll do my best to try and help and get people going in VR because it is a great game the motion controls do take it to another level I mean I know it's not a massive change from how they were originally but it is a work in progress so we are getting improvements all the time pretty much well not literally every second of the day but you know there is a constant stream of development updates coming here you know the developer is working on this so you know give it a shot give it a try otherwise i would just like to say thank you for watching i hope this guide has been helpful it's only a short video so i just want to say thank you very much for watching um hit the like button if you like the video otherwise hit the subscribe button if you want to see every bit of vr related content from headset vr including videos like this including the live streams that do come out as well and other gameplay videos i do like to find obscure videos so we can play in vr and things that people don't necessarily play so much just to show how good they are and give all these indie games a little bit more of a chance rather than playing all the big AAA games in VR otherwise like I say subscribe you'll see that kind of thing any comments you make they do get responded to I'll respond to every single comment that's made unless it's offensive and I just think you're a complete dick in other words I'll just give you the middle finger otherwise I would want to say again thank you for watching Thank you for subscribing and liking the video, and we'll see you again soon for the next one. Stay frosty, guys. Chill out. It's cool. Anyway, I see what you did there, and, uh, well, yeah, I'm going to dive right into something else. Thanks again, guys. Bye-bye.